the word of God, written in Matthew chapter 5, reading verse 17 to 20. Do not think that I have come to abolish the law or the prophets. I have not come to abolish but to fulfill. For truly I tell you, until heaven and earth pass away, not one letter, not one stroke of a letter will pass from the law until all is accomplished. Therefore, whoever breaks one of the least of these commandments and teaches others to do the same will be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever does them and teaches them will be called great in the kingdom of heaven. For I tell you, unless your righteousness exceeds that of the scribes and Pharisees, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. For I tell you, unless your righteousness exceeds that of the scribes and Pharisees, you shall never enter the kingdom of heaven. Words taken from verse 20 of chapter 5, Matthew, Matthew chapter 5. Jesus very forcefully and clearly makes a point that can be difficult to understand. He had not come to abolish the law of Moses, but to fulfill it. And none of it will pass away until all has been accomplished. He tells them that those who obey will be called great in the kingdom of heaven. But those who do not diligently obey will be called the least. This does not suggest in any way that good deeds earn salvation, but it does make an important point about God's intent in the preceding verses, Matthew 5, 17 to 19. Now Jesus demands a very high standard, which would have seemed impossible to his listeners, as he outlined exactly how it is meant to be taken. Scribes were considered experts on the scriptures, and the Pharisees were a group famous for the extreme keeping of the law of Moses, and in an effort not to break them, they even added their own rules and regulations. Here, Jesus is making two distinct points. Matthew has already shown that the righteousness of the scribes and Pharisees was false, and John the Baptist, when he was baptizing in the River Jordan, and saw them coming for baptism, said to them, you brood of vipers, who warned you to flee from the wrath to come? Bear fruit worthy of repentance. Matthew 3, 7 to 8. Jesus too later clashes with the Pharisees over the way they were working so hard to keep out of appearances while their hearts were not clean. Brothers and sisters, God cares far more about what is in a person's heart than what people perceive of them. God values true purity motivated by true love more than the keeping of rules. So, true righteousness is much better than the false righteousness displayed by religious pundits. The other point is that no one can truly be perfect. In this world of corruption and sinfulness, we have to work hard to live a life worthy of heaven. As Paul writes in Romans 3.23, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. And he continues in verse 24, Being justified freely by his grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. Jesus is helping his listeners and us by extension to understand that they need a righteousness that is the desirous of heaven. For I tell you, Unless your righteousness exceeds that of the scribes and Pharisees, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven.